Legend of Total War here with part 16, I think, of my Hearts of Iron 4 Let's Play campaign as Australia. I think in the end of the previous episode I said it was episode 17, but I got a little bit... I just didn't... I lost count. Anyway, um... Yeah, everything's going pretty well for the uh, Axis forces. I feel like we've just got a period of time where we just need to wait and just see what happens. So let's... Let's see how we're going. Um, over here... Let me just see... So we, we conquered this area here. I might actually try and invade Oman and Yemen and Saudi Arabia, but from Oman. I did that as, as the Japanese. If you've got... Oh, that's right. I was going to send them out this way. But here's the thing. When you invade from your allied territory, they're the ones that get it. So I'll have to... Oh, that's right. They're coming in over here. They're not going in by... Um, by strategic redeployment. I'm probably not going to need a lot of troops. Oman will be easy to defeat. We'll use that as a base of operation then to go and hit Saudi Arabia. That's right, we've got preparations for the war against Sweden, but um, I'm inclined to just let let the goddamn... Um, oh, I haven't started yet. that yet? No, I'm starting now. Let the let the rock handle it. Also, it would be a good idea if we really start focusing on a strong navy because we're like as far as land um, superiority goes, we've got that covered. What we don't have is a strong navy, and we, you don't need a big amount of manpower to deal with to have a big navy. However, I do need a lot of land to build naval dry docks everywhere. That's going to be essential. Alright, so let's start justifying a war against Oman. I can easily do this on my own. Oman's got no fucking strength. And then from Oman we can also take out the United Kingdom territories. They're still repairing up there. It's considering declaring war on Portugal, but I don't know. So where have we got low supplies? Up here. How bad is it? You know what I might try? I'm going to get all of my guys out of here. Yeah, all of them. I'm still going to declare war on Sweden, but I'm going to let the Germans deal with the whole thing. So, yeah, might need to delete that first. We'll see how that goes. I mean, they've got the manpower, so it's not a big deal. And I doubt Sweden's going to overrun them. And if they do, then we'll step in to help. But the thing is, they're sending so many troops that the supply is bad. So my involvement here is probably detrimental. A very small navy here. I need to get all my ships back, back together. All in due time. How's the supplies up this way? They're holding. Okay, now if we're going to if we're going to invade here, we're going to need a couple of guys. Let's um, let's see. Let's start with start with six. Invade from here. Hmm. Yeah, start there and we'll just build a port. I think that's that's the easiest way to deal with it. It w won't take long to build a port. Um, if we don't build a port, if we go straight for there, it might not work. And since my navy is currently out of commission, um, we just got to be careful. Where's my air force? Where'd I put my fucking air force? Finland. Okay, yeah. Let's um Let's bring them in. Because you can use them for for this stuff. Where are they? Where, where I mean where where can we put them? Baghdad? Yeah, that should do it. 
and we get air superiority over the Middle East while we conquer it. How long is this going to take? 21 days, that's not long. Southeast Asia has uh, air superiority. Uh, I don't care. As far as production is concerned over here, we've kind of got enough of this shit. So let's just see about maybe making something else. Maybe just make support equipment for the time being. Because that never goes out of date. A lot of the other shit's just going to go out of date. So just cancel all this. Because we've got, we've got thousands of them in the reserve. But we don't have enough manpower to, to make them function. Don't have the materials for any of it, but that's okay. We're really just using that as a placeholder for, for all the all the factories that we built. So what? Air superiority is over that. It doesn't look like they can fully cover it. Eighty-six point three percent will still be sufficient. Low supplies out here. Still need to keep them there until um, I don't know until Italy pushes them back a bit further. What else are we waiting on? I saw the justification in this one as well, yeah. So we've also got nukes now, but what I want to do is rather than just build crappy um, strategic bombers, I want to build the jet ones. And I think we can afford to wait okay, until until the jet engines are available. Oh, it's a little bit, a little while away actually. I don't think there's any desperate need to, um, to nuke anything just yet. Okay, that's ready to go. Let's slow this back down. Let's do this. Declare war. Don't call in the allies. Because I, I don't actually want their help. Even though they just got called in. Alright, so... Oh, we got one more day to wait. Oh, they won't go because of the... They don't have the um, superiority in here is where they need it. Now they'll go. We only have 41%, but we need... Oh, okay. This could be risky. Okay, just hold that off. So from what I'm seeing here, in the information, um, we need to get our Navy together. So get them together. Hopefully you can swing past here without getting sh uh, fucking destroyed by... Um, by the American Navy, that would be good. They can't get past this canal, so hopefully you can get past that. Ah, oh, we got caught. Oh, no we didn't, we got out. Okay, good, what's this? Yep, yeah, current engage rule, do not engage, good. Good, so we get these guys together, so that comes with a couple of heavy cruisers. Send them over here to gain naval superiority so that we can um, do something about it. Let me just see, if we got an airport that's a bit closer. Baghdad's about the same distance. Not necessarily. All 
right, so more uh, civilian factories. So yeah, we want more um, naval dry docks. None of that's available. We certainly don't need any more um, military factories. All right, let's declare war on Sweden and let the uh, let the Germans deal with it. All right, hopefully you've got what it takes to um, to deal with what's here. So we, I mean, we will have air superiority, so that'll certainly help. Yes, we want to hurry up and get over to Oman. We just need to get someone over there. So your job will be to convoy escort in this area. Okay, here we go. Could be the uh, the Dutch forces that we saw, because I've tried a number of times to land troops here, and they caught us in a couple of times. All right, so yeah, I need that. Shouldn't take too long to research it. Maybe about a year. We've got time. Times times on our side right here, because we've got all the productivity in the world. We'll be just fine. Hey, we've got Japanese forces down here. So far, so good. And there they are. Okay, so they've shown up. These guys should be disengaging, motherfuckers. Come on, you gotta disengage. Alright, just, um. Now, if you fuck. You gotta disengage a bitch. How do I get him to dis just slow down? I got, I got to figure this out. Um, just cancel cancel that and just go home. Go back. You got to disengage. Otherwise, you just lose lose loads of manpower. So they're out here. They're they're doing stuff, but they're they're. I can't fucking find them. They'll just go back here and then we'll just launch them again. Should be ready to go. They have to they have to get back first. It's not worth risking all of their lives just to get over here. Good, they're going again. Give another shot. The motherfuckers caught us even quicker this time. Alright. Once again, disengage. Go back. And then they bug it off again. Alright, I'm going to have to put them on, like, search and destroy. Because they're just, they're just not finding them very well at all. Um, search and destroy. No, then they just disengaged. That's fucking annoying as hell. I think they sunk... No, no, they didn't sunk one of the ships. You just took a while to get back. We might just have to work through the pain and go through it, because they, they can't seem to get there otherwise. Let's just go in there separately. Once we've landed there, it'll be a lot better. Alright, so far so good. It doesn't bother me. How are we going against um, Sweden? Hey look, they're doing it for me. 
But of course, it'll, by the end of the war, it'll all will have transferred over to them. Alright, so far so good. Because every convoy can hold about, I don't know, 5,000 men. So if they, every, for every convoy they sink, that's a, that's a lot of my population gone. Got to be careful about that. I, I don't know what it is about British ships, but they're just slippery as fuck. Alright, so here we are. We land. Oh, jeez, I don't have much organization. Delete that. Slow down just a moment. We need to build a naval base here. Just go all out. Oh, I thought I said pause it. Okay, and but that needs to be made top priority. That is going to take about four weeks. So you just need to hold out there for four. Fuck me, this guy's here. Uh, I don't think they're attacking. Oh, no, no, they're they're hitting the convoy. Where, where's it? Where's our navy? It says they're disengaging. Hopefully they do. fuck is going on here? My fleet's right there, but they're not here. Alright, cancel your orders. Just fuck off. Go go back. Five, five there is fine. It's better that you survive. Says they're disengaging, and they're... Okay, they just need a little bit more to go, and then they're, they're out of there. The thing is, they're getting pretty close. 11 kilometers beyond range. You better hurry up. Because they'll fucking sink you real quick. So one of them took a pretty bad hit. Come on, land. They've already sunk one sh one convoy. No, motherfucker. You stop that. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, you piece of shit. Delete this order. Alright, so we probably lost about 5,000 men on that, but that's okay. At least they got there. The fuck is going on here? Looks like they actually sunk quite a few ships. Looks like the battle is still going on, but I got him out of there. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. I, naval battles can be really frustrating in this game. It doesn't make any sense. Like, my guys are right there, they're just not doing anything. Alright, but bloody hell. Put them on hold. So looking at that, it says it sunk four. I don't care about the convoys, I, I care about the actual manpower itself. Probably should have checked what it was at before that. But whatever the case is, we're here now. And you guys just stay there. Just gotta wait till the 29th of March. Uh, of May, sorry. And over here... Yeah, the... Um, what's it called? The Germans have got it. They, they don't need my help. Moving these guys is not going to help our situation. We have to wait until we've got supplies.
it's going to be very annoying moving um, things by sea if there's going to be British ships all over the place sinking us. Especially when our ships just don't bloody get them. So I'm just going to put them back on search and destroy. And let's just burn through some time so we can see what's going on. So yeah, main reason why we're here is so we can actually build some factories here. So I can make more ships. everywhere else it's fine. I mean, I think Italy will eventually just push over over the forces in Africa. So they're, they're losing their supply, losing their organization. We've got to be very careful. That's why we've got to just stay put, keep their entrenchment nice and high. Also, out of curiosity, let me just see here. If I go to the... No, no, logistics. Go to this. I've been thinking about possibly just taking out some of these cavalry, some more of it. Which will return some of it to, to the manpower pool. And make it easier to recruit them. In addition to that, let's come over here and let's... So, oh right, I've already added the engineer core company. I forgot I did that. Let's see what else we could possibly get. So we've got... No, I think what we've got there is is just fine. Because I don't think they really need the support anti-air, because I use my aircraft for that. Support artillery, well, they've got artillery. Yeah, just, just let it be. Okay, in the Middle East, yeah, they've got bad supplies. But it's three days away until the port is built. And there's just a question of whether or not that port is going to supply them with enough uh, resources. Still, some is better than none. And all we need to do is take take Oman. Then we need to build up the infrastructure here, take out British, uh, British stuff here, declare war on Yemen, then declare war on, on Saudi Arabia. Should be pretty straightforward. Also, these guys have just turned fascist. They're now called the Neo-Ottoman Empire. Alright, so the port's been built. How's the supply? It's good enough to send more troops over. However, of course, um, it's risky getting across the sea. Let's just see if these guys can do it with what they've got. So what we firstly do is cut them off from their supplies. But now that they're part of the Allies, they'll get supplied from 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 here. Also, we do have a... a hang on. Here's an idea. Okay, just stop that for a moment. Put them on idle over here so that they can bomb the... Uh, uh, do shore bombardment. Okay, we don't have much intel on what they've got there, but let's just hope we've got enough. Let's do this. Okay, looks good. And how about our air... Oh, right, air superiority is currently working on something else. There we go, with air superiority, that weakens them by a little bit. So 
The tricky part's now going to get them over here. Well, we've got to wait till we've got enough supplies first. Luckily, this is not much resistance here. Um, what should I get? So, outdated equipment in production. What's that? So, yeah, don't get that one. Get the uh, get the new line class. Okay, I don't want you to actually move there. Slow down. Stay put. Because otherwise these guys could move forward. We don't want them taking this, so I'll undo our production. That's their only victory points, so but it should make them surrender. Oh crap, I've already built up everything that I can. It was, well, it's not really oh crap, it's just I don't know what else to do. Um, I guess infrastructure wouldn't hurt. Let's fix up Australia with some more infrastructure. That should keep the productivity busy for a while. Because we got we got quite a few nukes coming in now. We'll, we'll be able to make quite a, uh, like, I don't know, four or five a year. Yeah, they just, they pop in there and then disappear. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, put them on fire at will. Maybe that's what's doing it. Oman has capitulated. Excellent. That means we get all of their stuff. Good. Without any resistance here, let's go. Let's go take all this shit. And then we'll declare war on Yemen very soon. All right. So, did we just did we gain some more stuff? Let's have a look here. Good, and now we can actually build some more dockyards here. But we've already got 13. Let me just see. So we, we gained gained a few dockyards just from that as it is. Good. So what was it doing again? That's right. This. We're currently making convoys, destroyers, convoys. Too much is in convoys. We don't need that many. All right, let's see. What was the line? Oh, did I did I switch this over to convoys when I should have switched over to line class? Battleship three. Yeah, switch it over to that. Okay, so create a new one. I mean, we got we don't have any steel. What, what do you think? Light cruisers. How about some heavy cruisers? I'm going to go with this. It's a little bit more reliable. Okay, that looks fine. Good, but that, that's a good start right there. And Oman has... It's only got 400,000 people. Like, oh, we got a big, big boost of our population here. Surely it didn't come from this. No, it didn't. What's, what's going on? Yeah. And, you know, taking these territories well. This one here's got 250,000. It all helps. Oh, that's right. So we're getting those extra population because we, we reduce the amount of um, um, strength that's in a, in a battalion of um, cavalry. Because all we need it for is to maintain um, order. That's all it's for. To suppress. Which we actually need a little bit more. The fuck? We'll go up there and sort them out. Oh fuck! 
Maybe we've done too much. We've, we've uh, made it too weak. Because now it's not suppressing by enough. Alright, what I'll do, we come over to here and let's improve military police. So it gives them a bit more of suppression bonus. Can't get to that one until we uh, declare war on Saudi Arabia. You come up here, we don't need two to do that. You come down this way. So over here, there's another, there's a million people in Aden. So we're good, adding it up to our already huge non-core population, but we could always use a few more. So looking at supplies, looking good. So what, what level is this port at now? Go to level two. Hope and destroy them. This guy's only level 2 commander, you should be able to beat him. What's this here? Good, we're actually doing some damage to him, that's what I want to see. And we're sinking him, very nice. Good, the whole. Well, no, one of them got away, but that's okay. Well done. Alright, you deserve some repairs after that. Okay, we've got more outdated equipment, so Destroyer 2 can be replaced with Destroyer 3. I don't care if that one's almost finished. They don't take long to build. The British Navy is probably way ahead of us in that regard. But that's okay, we finished in regard to engineering, so that's good. I'm not concerned about this. The Japanese will, will pull it back yeah, back in. It'll be fine. Yeah, it's just not quite enough suppression here. Now that we're just about in position, let's get ready to invade this. And this should be a lot easier. Because we don't have to navally invade them. I don't think I need, need those guys just yet. Now, when it does come down to attacking um, Saudi Arabia, I wouldn't really care so much if, um, if they were to push up north. So I might actually pull these guys down this way. Just so they don't actually help up this way. Because I want to be taking territory. This is for me, bitch. Yeah. The Reich has got this. Hey, look. That's that's pretty cool. Got that for me. But, you know, it'll switch over to, um, to Germany fairly soon. And from here, they'll be able to get to Oslo a lot quicker. Just me, is National of Spain taking more of France away from, from from them? They must be asking for it, I don't know. I wonder if we should declare war on, on Portugal. I don't think they'd be that strong, but it will just ha get handed, handed over to um, National of Spain. They're not going to do anything with it. What supplies do they have there? Heaps of tungsten, so artillery would be really useful from from them, but I've already got heaps of tungsten, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, heaps. Not focusing that much on artillery. Maybe I should. Uh, Turkish convoys are getting fucked up by British ships. I should go out there and help them.
So they're trying to disengage. These guys are desperately trying to hit the convoys, and they're getting them. But we're getting in close. Hopefully we can blow up this. Did we get him? Yes, we got it. Okay, so thanks to them sacrificing one of their convoys, we, um, we destroyed that British ship. Is it possible to move from here to there? I don't think so. Let me just check. No, it's not possible. But I could sail from here to there. That should be pretty low risk. Uh, strategic redeploy. So looking at this now. Well, we can't build here yet because we don't own it just yet, but we will soon. So they've got one factory here, what is it? It's just a military factory. We could convert it, but no, it's fine. Okay, now can we build the... Yes, we can, but it's already been built up to the max. So let's just see what's here. Just three civilian factories. I'd prefer something else, but that's fine. So this one's here got 14 unlock slots, so let's see what we can get out of that. So our current growth in recruitable is 1.4 thousand. I guess that's alright. So how's it going with their repairs? They're almost finished. Now over here, they've got another 10 ships waiting for them. So a couple of destroyers, heavy cruiser, and they've actually got a battleship ready to go. I'm pretty sure the battleship's already out of date. But that's fine. How many people live in Yemen? Two million, three million. So that's, that's better than Oman, which was only 400,000. I mean, if you have a look at Oman, we can actually see how many troops they're giving us. 186 out of 197, so not a lot. Anyway, it's not really about that. Although it would be good if we had more, more troops. I feel like I could take a few more risks. It's easy enough for Germany when it's got 60 million people or whatever in it. I said, look, they're building nukes as well. Alright then, now let's do this. And claim their territory as our own. Yemen joins allies. And legend kills Yemen. Because we've got the air superiority here as well. I don't think I really need my, my ships over here. Wait, they should be finished repairing. Yeah, they are. Alright, so let's bring them in. Yeah, it needs to be here, because we just need to go to... To Sana'a, or whatever, however the fuck it's pronounced. Okay, just hold on, hold on one sec. Stay there. Oh. Yeah, no, no. Just don't worry about it for the time being. Because uh, if we have a look at this, how are we going for supplies? 3 out of 34. We could justify a lot more troops in here. I guess the infrastructure has been built up. No, not much. So, I don't know. Alright. Now, if we take this, we'll be able to bomb them from the shore. There we go. They don't stand a chance. 
and there'll be a nice quick war in which we gain a little bit more a little bit more stuff should start justifying a war against them So, population of Saudi Arabia in total, there's 1.68 million there, 1 million, 1.7 million there, and there's 42 people living in this shithole out here. 42. So that means their population's about 3 million. Not a lot. But that's okay, it doesn't need to be. Disc using that mainly for their factories, which there won't be very many. Also, we gain their oil, which, you know, isn't heaps, but help me make a few extra ships. Alright, we've got this. Now you need to come back over here, because i got to escort these guys to here. Luckily it's a very short trip. Alright, better hurry up and get over there now. You better not get intercepted by fucking British ships. That's part of this province here. Okay, it looks like he's made it. You need to come back over here to, to bomb, bomb them. Okay, now I want them to come over here to make preparations against um, them. So that'll give us 11 units to deal with um, Saudi Arabia, which should be more than enough. They should be, there we go, Yemen has capitulated, and that's, what do we get? More factories for us, that's good. Okay, I don't even know what to do with this shit. I mean, if we don't have the equipment, it still, it still makes a little bit, so I don't know, just go with that. Probably not going to need the navy again for a little while. I'd like to get them back to New South Wales. So that they can meet up with this navy here. How's this going here now? Okay, they've they've managed to fix the, uh, the public order problems. I think it's actually largely thanks to the Japanese showing up. But there's other areas where we really need to get some, some military police up here. But I'm a little bit concerned about sending them off. Well, I'll tell you what we do. We uh, send them wherever the fuck they've gone. Over here, pick up some extra ships. And then we'll escort them. Escort them over here. Oh, these motherfuckers are still out this way. Maybe we should take the Maldives away from them. I mean... It's just a base from where they can operate. If we if we take out all of the British bases in the area, then then they won't be able. To, but there's so many of them. It'd be easier just to destroy their ships. So apparently there's some invasions coming in. Sweden has capitulated. Good. Do I get any of that? No. I didn't think I would. I wouldn't have got any if I did bloody help as well. It looks like Norway will capitulate soon as well. I think declaring war on Sweden actually helped with Norway. Not annoying birds, but whatever. 
Okay, justification for this is done. I'll just slow this down. All right, so the Valiant here will take 550 days, and that's with ahead of time penalty will be reduced by 50%. Jesus. Oh, well, that's what I want. Well, it's only a year and a half. Anyway, let's uh, declare war on the Arabs here. And uh, let's let's get to conquering. We need to make sure we take at least half of their territory before the Italians do to make sure that we get the whole thing when they capitulate. Uh, sending you out to attack him is not a good idea right now. We can't justify getting these guys out of here because then then Egypt will get overrun again. I'm thinking after this is done, we'll come down to here, take that fucking island, then we'll hit Madagascar and use Madagascar as a as a base of op uh, operations to hit South Africa. If we have a look at what South Africa has, let's have a look. South Africa's only got one unit. They've lost all their troops. They've got nothing left. So we can take that for ourselves. Their resources are a lot of chromium. The chromium be good for making ships. I think we've still got plenty of it. No, we don't. Okay. Okay, no resistance here in Saudi Arabia, which is good. I'm not looking for a challenge. I just want, I just want your shit. Okay, one of them to back off. And come over here. Norway's capitulated good, and Italy has made no effort here, which is what we want. Hopefully, they're focusing more on on this. Good. And by doing this, we're also increasing our war goal uh, participation because, you know, we're taking victory points. It's not a lot of victory points, but it's better than just twiddling our thumbs and giving them bloody uh, Finland, for example. I'm kind of annoyed that they got that. I put in all the work, all the planning into it, and then they take all the reward just because they have the borders, the closest. Oh, hang on, I didn't mean to, to do that. Keep it on normal. Pretty close to their capital now. And we're almost done. Oh, hang on. If one of you can back off, take this. They didn't even leave their capital defended. Although I wasn't exactly expecting them to put up a lot, lot of a fight. Alright, so ships have made it over here. We've got 26 ships. Alright, now make your way over here. Looks like those other, other ships have buggered off. So how close are these guys to surrendering? They've already lost 2,000 men. God, they're weak. Oh, hang on, no, they're, they're still thinking about some invasions. Well, whatever. Oh, uh, then again, of course, my air superiority probably just destroys them before they get a chance to do anything.
So yeah, our stats are a lot higher than theirs. Plus we outnumber them, plus their general sucks. Well, that's what happens when you put a tea towel on your head. Nah, no, I'm just being offensive there. It's got nothing to do with anything. It's just different cultures, different kind of hat. Alright, how close are they to surrendering now? Where's their other victory points? So Medina's worth one. I don't see anything else worth anything. And they'd be willing to give me something. I should probably wait until my borders actually met up with them. They'll probably end up giving me Kuwait. It's the only region I think that they don't actually own. I tell you what, if I got to this point here and then it automatically just transferred everything over to Italy or something, I'd be so pissed off. Like, I do all the hard work and it's like, hey, Italy's a bigger faction than you. Give it all to them. Fuck off. Coming from this way is the entire reason why we, why we did it, because I didn't want them to get it. Because they'll, they'll just piss it away. it seems like even though I'm one of the weaker factions, well I'm a major faction now but starting off one of the weaker factions, I need to bloody finish off this war by invading America, which we need a navy for that, a big navy. Because I don't, I don't want to risk, just by luck, a naval invasion and it just gets fucking sunk in the water because we'll never raise another army you have to be cautious there's no reason why Iraq would get it What is their national unity? Let's have a look. 90%. Actually quite high. And they just did not stand a chance against us. Rolled over them easily. Okay, now that we actually share a border with these guys, well, let me see if I can take that region off them. Yeah, it was Kuwait. Oh, uh, now it says it won't, won't even ask. It won't give it to us. What? Why not? Ah, oh, come on, be a pal. Give us Kuwait. What's that Kuwait anyway? Any resources? No. It's just. Less than a hundred thousand people. I'm reluctant to move to here until they've actually surrendered. Good, let's go for military police four as well. A little bit of extra suppression would help. Alright, they're probably ready to surrender, and they surrendered completely to us. Good. Very good. Good, that won't take long. And now... Well, we can't build much here, but they've already got a little bit for us, so that's good. A couple of only 42 people living in... Well, actually, I can't believe it's just a desert, but... Not many people living there. Good, so there's a bit more territory for us. Now we need to start planning the next load of stuff. Sorry for squeaky chair stuff, but it gets uncomfortable sitting in the same spot for a while. I like to move around. Okay. They're over here. Okay, well, I want to get these guys over to there. 
But since we're at 55 minutes, maybe we'll just end the video here and deal with it next time. Well, whatever the case is, that went pretty well. Uh, the Great, we have to leave units behind all the time. I could just leave a unit of infantry. Yeah, alright. I'll just use infantry for the time being. Until I can justify sending cavalry out this way. Because we need these factories. And we need to leave someone in Rydia as well. Good, so now we're making, well, we can make some much better stuff. Alright, what about uh, battle cruisers? Yeah, I could use some of those. See, so look at the service manpower 4,000, service manpower 10,000 on that. It's probably too much. Let's get the, uh, get the better destroyers. Alright, so now we need to go from battleship 3 to battleship 4. I don't care about the loss in production. Oh, oh fuck, it went over to convoy. That's, that's not what I wanted. So it was like 90% finished with that battleship, and they're like, nope, let's get to the new design. That's fine. Okay, good suppression there. As long as they, they stay there, it's fine. I mean, we've probably got too many units as it is now. Most of them are just sitting around doing nothing. that. Okay, so these guys out here, what are you doing? Okay. I want you to make your way to here. And we'll use that as a staging ground to get to, to hop to here first, if we can, and then to Madagascar. And you know what? I'm going to send these guys in to help as well. Because, I don't know, it, they're just taking a little bit of attrition there, so fuck it. It says apparently there might be an invasion in Australia soon, but... I don't know. New Caledonia. Is that worth anything? It's worth a little bit. I don't know if it's worth going there and dealing with this. It's only got one slot. These little islands and shit can get really annoying. Alright, well, let's end the video here. Situation is looking pretty good. I mean, we've just managed to conquer the, the Middle East, essentially, with, with relative ease. And that'll just give us some more factories to work with. And our enemies, well, they've lost all of Scandinavia now. And hopefully we can start working towards taking Africa, which isn't worth a hell of a lot, but it's better than nothing. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 17, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.